guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining us here in Nashville at the world-famous Bluebird Cafe. As you guys know that uh, my dad, I played, I played in bands with my dad when I was a kid, and he was a huge influence on me. Um, and my guitar players in my band, um, super proud to have them in my band. And uh, I know that their dads were a huge influence on them. Um, I'll go ahead and introduce them. They both have famous dads. So this is uh, Jamie Hanna, my guitar, my uh, guitar player, and this is his dad, Jeff Hanna, plays with the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Um, and this is um, it'll come to you, Ryan Warner. <laughs> Ron, <laughs> I've been on stage so many times. This is Ryan Warner and his dad, Steve Warner. Um, very, everybody, very famous and uh, huge fans of both of them. And uh, the, I think our goal here is to kind of get into the father-son thing and, uh, you know, see, see how much they did influence. So I guess my, big, my, my first question would be, uh, let's go simple. Like, what was your first guitars? Um, did your dad give you your first guitar? Yes. Um, my first guitar actually was, I think, um, it may have been a, like a, a Stella. One yeah, of those, it's like like a, it's, it, was it wasn't. Like a, it wasn't a Washburn. It was a, like a Sears. It was version a, of It was a like Washburn. a Sears version of, from like nineteen early nineteen hundreds. A uh, little parlor guitar, and uh, I'm, I'm a lefty, so I wanted to play like this. <laughs> you buy it out of the Sears catalog? No, no. I, mean, I, I got it. There was great guitars in that back. You got it, yeah. and it was for my eighth birthday, and he gave it to me, and I tried to hold it like this, and then I he gave me some uh, Happy Traum. Hmm. Cassettes, yep. and I remember the first thing was, "Hi, this is Happy Traum," and I was like trying to fret that guitar with my fingernails. It hurt so bad. Yeah, and Sorry about that, I man. put it down. For, I put the guitar down for about another seven years before I picked it back up. But by that time, I had grown accustomed to holding that guitar. This, I thought this was pretty interesting. So, so Jamie was left-handed. Um, so and he told a good good story about your dad tell, telling him. That, or Jeff saying, hey, that's cool if you want to play left-handed, but just so you know, if you ever, ever pick up a guitar at a party, you'll only be able to talk about how you can play the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> You're never, never going to be able to play You're it. like, wait, there's way that, more right-handed guitars out there, Yeah, man. so that made you play right-handed. I thought that yeah, was the interesting. Yeah, the availability of, like, when you get in, you yeah. know, like, we're all into guitars in this group right mm -hmm. here. You know, it's like looking for a great old... Martin or Gibson, that's a lefty. It's really they made him. Think, but Paul McCartney's probably the only one. That he's got the biggest. Has, has he has them all. Right? Yeah. And, yeah. Can't and you know what? Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> it looks weird. Yeah. I mean, I know I, I do other <laughs> things left-handed, like golf and stuff. But I mean, the right-handed, the left-handed guitar thing looks weird, except when Hendrix did it because it was a right-handed guitar. Yeah. Right <laughs> down. Or or when or when Lennon and McCartney were singing on the same mic. Yeah, right. That was really, really cool. right about pretty, that. Yeah. yeah, that, that was, was pretty. Yeah, cool. That mirror, was cool. The mirror effect. The mirror, yeah. That was yeah. really. What about cool. you? What was your first guitar, Jeff? Oh man, I think the first. Guitar, well, I know what it was when I was 14 years old. I waited a while till I got my first guitar, and I, when I realized that, you know. I wasn't going to be a star athlete. The girls and the guitars went together, oh, yeah. you know? Way better worked, than being an athlete. Way better. <laughs> As it turned out for me, it worked out better for me. So my buddy, his, uh, a guy named Kim Locker, and I lived in Littleton, Colorado at the time. He said, man, we got to get you a guitar. And I said, okay. So we went down to uh, what's, now, what's now called Larimer Square in Denver, but it used to be this funky old, uh, it, was kind of, it was basically kind of like Skid Row, and all the pawn shops were there. So I found this old Harmony, yeah. I think it was a, a Harmony Monterey, and it was like a, a, an archtop guitar. It was a terrible guitar, you know, and I had that for a while. And, you know, when I, I'm, I put it away, really. I moved to California that, that summer, to Long Beach, California, and then I ended up getting a, a series of other things, you know. Yeah. But that was my first guitar. You've yeah. got lots of guitars now, yeah. I got a couple now. <laughs> what about you? Did your dad give you your first one, Ryan? Yeah, well, I thought it was Santa Claus. <laughs> you know, it was Sorry, funny. <laughs> I only ever wanted an electric guitar. Yeah. I was just like, I had to have an electric. I had to have a Fender, you know, and we went to Corner Music and picked out a guitar, and then all of a sudden Santa brought it, and I was like, wait, this is the one I picked out. Work, and it says made in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I had like a little Japanese-made, you know, Fender Strat, and I had to have a red one because he had a red guitar. And, yeah. But I wanted a Strat because my uncle played that, so I was like, I'll, yeah. I'll have... That guitar with the red, and it'll be f kind of for both of them. Did he teach you how to play? 
He taught me the first couple things, and then I was just, I kind of said, leave me alone. I want to do it myself. Yeah. That's I exactly learn from the my words dad, and I couldn't <laughs> teach my kids. I yeah. always had to have somebody else yeah. in there. And there was always really funny moments where I would show them something, and then they'd come in and go, well, Bob's dad down the street says it, it should be done this way. And <laughs> yeah. you're like, well, what does Bob's dad do? And you're like, he's a plumber. And you're like, okay. <laughs> well, I would say, I would be listening to stuff, and he would be like, I got really into Van Halen, and he would be. I would be like, "What is that?" He go, "Well, you know, he put his hand here, and you go, you know." And I went, "Oh, yeah." But then he would just be cool enough to say, "All right, now you can, you, you know, I'll let you figure it on your own. If you need help, I'll be over here." Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I felt that resistance, you know, early on. I felt that, and I go, "Hey, I just need to. He needs yeah. to do this on his own. That's what you could tell. That's what he wanted. And the same with." What Jamie said a moment ago with the left-handed situation. Yeah, Ryan's left lefty oh, too, you too. So yeah. wow, I can't <laughs> count the times that I went, Brian. Nope, he was real little. Nope, just toy. That was just toy guitars. Yeah, toy guitars. I go, no, even toys. I go, nope, this way, this way, this way. And you told mom to flip him over when you were at it. Yeah, I said, I'm on the road and he's doing that. You flip that guitar (laughs) over. Because I always had like a, I always had like a couple electric, you know, toy guitars look like Fenders. Yeah, I I would always hold them. Directions. You flip that if you see him. I love that. Left handed. And it worked out for sure. I later realized exactly what Jeff said. It's like. It's impossible. It's a righty word. I mean, I worked in a guitar store, and people would come in and want to get guitars for left-handed sons, and I'd be like, well, you can get black or brown. <laughs> <laughs> Not that, can we can't get them a red one? Nope, no red. That's all you got. <laughs> yeah. No red. The reds only yeah. come right-handed. Do you we, still have that guitar? Oh, yeah. I still have it. It's like a shorter scale Fender Strat, but it's, 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 I haven't seen it in years, but it's in a closet in his house somewhere, so. What about your first guitar? My first guitar, man, I didn't even, you know, this sounds like, Okay, get the hankies out. This is a sob story. I didn't have a guitar until I was like a sophomore in high school. My first guitar I bought from a uh, catalog, sight unseen. I, it was from Fort Worth, Texas. I just, yep, I need, I want a telly. I saved up the money and bought a telly from a catalog in Fort Worth and went it went down to the airport when it came in in Indy, Indianapolis and picked it up. And uh, I still have it. It's uh, it's in the Musicians Hall of Fame downtown in the uh, cool. case down there. But it's a little, just a terrible guitar to. They just, <laughs> yeah, it's not they good just, at all. Yeah, it's the worst telly I've ever right. seen in my life. But but I actually learned to play on my dad's '61 Jazzmaster. Is what uh, I learned to play on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I still have that too. And uh, my dad bought that from Arthur's Music Store in Indianapolis. So we your lived. Dad, about, your dad played. Yeah, he did play, and he had bands when I was a kid. We lived about we lived about 25 miles north of Indy, Indianapolis. And uh, did, did your so, dad play too? No, my dad, there was music in our house. My mom and dad both sang, but nobody actually played an instrument. Uh, That's cool. I was the first, you know. (laughs) I was the rebel. rebel, rebel. You remember remember the first song? Did he teach you the first song? He didn't teach me the first song necessarily, um, but I think... Have you guys ever done a song together? Well, I mean... (laughs) <laughs> have we ever done a song together? Yeah. We just well, if you, yeah. Well, you know, you I'm, came out and played with us for. I, I, yeah, I came out and played for a little while. But the first songs that I learned, not on guitar, but just as a child, were like old, like Linda Ronstadt songs. Or like the first songs I ever sang when I was three. Yeah, that's when that when, was like I've been cheated. I've been cheated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and Mr. Bojangles, of course, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a great teacher. Oh, I have recordings of it almost three <laughs> three five times a week. Like Mr. He, Bojangles, it was, all, it was yeah. Uh, was a huge fan of yours and was a huge fan of uh, Jerry Jeff Walker. Oh, yeah. And there was, I mean, he just had cool taste back then. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, and when he'd get mad, that's what he would do. He'd get out his guitar. You know, he'd <laughs> get pissed off and he'd just go get his guitar and he'd calm down and sing us a couple songs. Which that, was, that was really weird and cool, but... That what, was, cool. Uh, what was your first guitar? My first cool guitar was a uh, Ovation. Oh, yeah. Glenn uh, Campbell. Yeah, yeah. 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 Really horrible sounding little brown, <laughs> yeah. and it slid right off of you. Yeah, <laughs> they say playing one of those is like making love to a turtle. I think they say. Yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> I would imagine. Yeah. I mean, the, I, <laughs> I mean, the thing is, is everyone played them. They one had point. good pickups. Not, yeah. maybe not yeah, everybody, but I mean, you had yeah. you had everyone from Tony Rice played one for yeah. a while. Yeah, really. Richie Sambora, Al Di Miola, Eddie yeah. Rabbit. Glenn yeah, Campbell put them on. Yeah. Glenn Campbell put them yeah. on the road map. Yeah. On the map. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, yeah. I mean, it was like That's why same. I was ordering those catalogs, wanting to look at them because of the Glenn Campbell Good Time Hour. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can you guys sing us something? I, you, I was trying to get it's you really guys good. to do something together, sing, but uh, I'll sing along with you. Well, <laughs> we can do. When Jamie was three years old, Linda Ronstadt came and stayed at our house with us. <clears> we, we were doing a tour of Colorado and. She didn't bring her band. She just brought Andrew Gold, the great Andrew guitar Bubble. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. man. 
And what Andrew Bubble? Andrew Bubble is what I called him. Because mm. he had a bubble thing. He had a little <laughs> jar of bubbles and entertained Jamie with a bubble. But, <laughs> so much easier to entertain back see then. Right. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, let's see. How about you? I see. Can't do that licking, G. Let's see. Uh, I'm in love. Is that okay, Ben? I've been. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. Everybody out. I've been cheating. 